how this $30 piece of plastic could prevent your car from being broken into. Next on Now You Know. So what's been happening is that thieves have realized that this back quarter window, um, if you smash it, the alarm system will not go off in the Model 3, at least for the Model 3s that have come out so far. And then what they can do is reach in and fold down the rear seat. Now I'm not gonna smash my window. Uh, I like my Model 3. So I'm gonna actually open the door. The latch is right there. And so a thief comes in and you know, they're coming in from your perspective, but. So then if a thief likes what he sees, he thinks you have a laptop or something valuable in there, they'll smash the window, reach in and take whatever valuables you have um, and then run away, leaving you with two smashed windows. Now, even if there isn't anything valuable in the back, they still will have smashed this window. Now, how can we prevent that? Well, we interviewed Raj from Droplock about his new invention. So on the Model 3, if you want to lower the back seat down, you, there's a little handle, right? And you stick your finger in there and you lower it. And so your product goes in where your fingers would go to stop you from basically being able to flip that seat down. Exactly. At its most simplest form, that's all it is. It's a block. It's a block that blocks you from being able to, to access that lever to fold it down. Yeah, you mentioned to me that when you go to put something in your trunk or frunk, that may not be as good an idea as you think. When you're putting something in your frunk or your trunk, do it out of sight, you know? Do it before you get to your destination. If you get to a destination, you open up your trunk and you stick your bag in there, somebody is watching. So there's people who are targeting, and then there are people who are just roaming the parking lots looking for, what can I get? And a Tesla screams, this person's got money, I have a higher chance that there's gonna be something worth stealing. Right. Now with your product also comes a sticker. What does that sticker say? Uh, so you'll see there's a little lock symbol and it says seats locked. That's it. Um, it's meant to go and be black border around the triangle window, um, but people can put it wherever they want. And I just want to point out, I mean, you did this because you saw a problem and you came up with a solution. And I think too many times people in comments and stuff are quick to say like, oh, it's not going to work or you could have done this. And it's like you did something about it and you're actually shipping the product, which congratulations, because I mean, you, you had to do a lot of work to do that. Um, the other thing that's really cool to me is that without 3D printers, this product probably wouldn't be here, right? Right, exactly. This is all brand new for me, um, right? I, I studied business and advertising and marketing, but, you know, creating a product, you know, uh, sh shipping a product and selling a product is all brand new. So I'm learning from the ground. And I think that's the most important part is I wanted to have full control on it because like you said, it is something that was meant to not be a mass market solution and, and you know, become a multimillionaire. I'm not going on Shark Tank, right. but you know, it, it's to solve the problem. And so I wanted to have kind of full control on it. And so every package is done in home, you know, I've got my wife doing part of the assembly line and, you know, we're packing and that's part of the fun about it, you know, and, and getting to know, I've gotten emails from several people, Hey, really excited to get the product and this and that. So that's been, that's been really good. And I can't wait to see, you know, people have the sticker on their, on their window or, or, or see them using it, so. That's awesome. I mean, it's really exciting that we live in a time with, you know, 3D printers and social media and the internet, so you can do, I mean, your your store is online, right? So wh where can people find this product? Getdroplock.com. All right, so the way it works is you have this little piece of plastic and you're inserting it right in the latch there. So you pull it up. And it goes in just like that. So your seat stays upright, uh, but now you have this little piece of plastic in there. So if I try and open the latch, I don't really have any purchase. I mean, I could definitely ruin my fingernails trying to open it, but I don't think it would even work. All right, so now I have my rear seat perfectly secured. No one is gonna be able to break that back window and be able to see what's in my trunk. How, how hard was it? Could you like have, could you have gotten purchase on that if you really wanted to? I don't think so. I mean, I don't, so, I mean, if we come back here. All right, so if I reach in here and I really try, I don't. And again, I would have to be reaching through a window of broken glass to try and get this off. And it's not coming, it's just not. I mean, I've got my fingernails dug in there, 
ew. <laughs> and uh, I can't lift it at all. There's no way. Now you might be wondering, uh, Jesse, how am I supposed to like fold down my back seats if I need to put a canoe in the back or something like that? Um, and there is a way to remove this, but it's a secret and we're gonna keep it a secret. So I will say that there is a way to remove it. I'm gonna test it and I'm gonna tell you how hard it is to do, but just for all those thieves watching out there, I'm watching you. All right, so now we're gonna see how hard it is to remove and I will be right out with hopefully the drop lock. All right, so got it out. No problem, use the secret method, which we're not telling thieves on this YouTube video, so you can go suck it. And uh, yeah, it took maybe like 15 seconds. Now my car is unsecure, but obviously now I can fold down the back seat. Now you might be wondering, how are thieves gonna know that my seats are locked? They're gonna smash my back window and then not be able to get the seat open. Well, that is why it comes with this little decal, which you can put on the back of both of the windows to let thieves know that the car is locked. So I mean, is the drop lock gonna prevent your car from being smashed or uh, broken into? No, not necessarily, but it does sort of send a message to thieves, um, especially if lots of people get these, that the Model 3 cannot be broken into in this way. It doesn't make sense anymore because, well, basically, uh, it's a big risk to smash a window and then to have to, you know, fiddle around and be like, oh, it's a drop locked, dang it. So then. You know, with these decals and with these little red pieces of plastic, um, I think that it's a good chance that, that we can kind of stop this crime spree. So if you're worried about your car being smashed or broken into, this could be a good solution for you. Thank you so much for watching. Now you know.